Welcome back, everyone, to the Cube here in the New York Stock Exchange. I'm John Furrier, your host. We're here for three days. We're on day three of Media Week. We're covering all the action with AI leaders, AI in healthcare, AI in space, AI in private equity. A lot of themes going on here in New York. And of course, they had an IPO this morning, and yesterday they celebrated the Liberty team that won the women's NBA. So that's happening today and yesterday. Big ticker tape parade in New York City. A lot of action. Jenny Shaw is here, CEO of Robin Health. Jenny, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Great to be here. So we had a chat at the reception where all the AI leaders were there, all yes. the founders. It was like an alpha founder meeting. It was like all the top <laughs> founders in AI. It was a great event. It was a great event. Um, you're doing some really interesting things around healthcare. Um, explain what you're working on, then I'll, I'll get into it. Yeah, for sure. So my background is actually in surgery. And uh, about a year ago, I left surgery. And at Robin, we, I founded Robin, and we're building emotionally intelligent AI. And like the idea is that the way we do AI right now is very superficial. It's very cold and transactional. And it's okay because it's part of evolution, right? Because like today's AI is all about like how do I automate workflows? You know, like how do I? And yeah. there's definitely, I think, like a really important place for that. Yeah. But I think the next wave of AI and what we really need as a society is something that's like more emotionally intelligent. So we're building the trust and connection layer of AI at Robin. And that was really, you know, I think informed by my experiences as a surgeon. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, seeing a lot of patients before they would have, you know, brain surgeries, they would have spine surgeries, like the biggest thing you can imagine, but they would tell me before and after surgery, I don't want to do this alone, right? Because like, of course they don't, they're human. So yeah. our first use case, you know, with our technology is to combat the loneliness epidemic. And we just recently um, did a very soft launch for our flagship product and got 71,000 people in 24 hours. So very excited about that. <laughs> Explaining, this is really, this is really key because this is where I think AI has a lot of great human value. Yes. Explain the problem that you're solving specifically and kind of the, why that uptake was so compelling. Yeah. So I think right now as a society, right, like we're really missing like well, several things, but one thing is emotional connection, yeah. right? And if you look at like even on Google Trends, yeah. there's like an exponential increase in terms of one search uh, query, and that is where do I meet people? But if we look deeper into that, right, yeah. it's not really about where do I like meet people because you know people all yeah. around in your yeah. city like where yeah. people are here but it's like where do i connect with people where do i yeah. you know like find that emotional connection and i think in today's like very fast-paced world like there's so little connection like with ourselves and also with other people yeah. so we're trying to bring that back at robin and it's a build technology that will help you understand who you are but yeah. also eventually help you connect other people as well you know i love your mission okay yeah. so yeah. i'm in i'm in yeah. So county is thousand and one. Great. Yeah. yeah. Because I think we're already connected. Yes. But it's superficial. It's ephemeral content. It's snackable exactly. junk food. Yes. And then the algorithms also placate to our consistency, which is not giving us new things. Yeah, Facebook invented they do a bunch of A B tests, but okay, but just give mm. us new information. But that's not that's the same treadmill we're on. I, you know, yes. I like a golf post on Instagram. Next thing I know, I'm seeing all golf. I'm like, I, I was yeah. just in the mood at the moment. Just I don't, your now phone, I'm getting spammed with post. golf. I'm yeah. like, I love golf, but like, I, or I do something else. I'm like, well, I don't really want to see any more of that. Or, yeah. um, and I think a lot of anxiety, um, yes. a lot of, you're seeing this in the generation of, um, of um, I won't say shame. Maybe I'm trying to find the right word, but anxiety, insecurity, um, I hate the word imposter syndrome. I think that, you know, entrepreneurs just like take risks. Yeah. <laughs> They're technically the imposters because they haven't proven themselves yet. But that, but there's all this negative yes. vibes around this when we're all connected in connective tissue. So there's AI brings an opportunity to bring collective intelligence yeah. to the table. Yeah. So tell me where you are in the product because I can see this working in apps. Yes. Is there a data requirement? How do you guys look at the algorithm? How do you manage things like bias or yeah. um, choice? Is, it, is there randomness to it? Is there serendipity? Yeah, Take so us those through are the great questions. And I think like our insight, it's really like before we even delve into the tech stack, right? It's so important that we know what we're building. Because I think like anybody can build like a cool piece of tech. But in the end, it's like, do people actually want to use this tech? And is it actually making you know, a good impact on the world, right? So before I was uh, in medical school, I did three years of research in Eric Kendall's lab. And he won a Nobel Prize. Which lab? Uh, Eric Kendall. Okay, and yeah. he's a proud New Yorker. So, <laughs> All right, um, shout out. Yeah, and he, his entire research was on learning and memory. 
like what is it about memory that makes us human yeah. right and if you think about like what is you know the special thing between you and let's say a really good friend and just an acquaintance right or someone mm -hmm. you on the subway yeah. it's because you have shared priors yeah. you have shared experiences you have shared yeah. memory there's a shared understanding and yeah. that evolves over time right so right now we don't really do that in ai right we have kind of like a static database and we're like cool just query it and then you know we'll we'll see what happens yeah. so what we do you know at robin in terms of product is that we make sure that it has long-term memory we make sure that it has you know an evolving memory and that it should feel like an extension of yourself so it will know you better than most people in your life yeah. over you know over time yeah. and it knows you through in the same way that like we know each other right through conversation yeah. like it would be really awkward the first time i met you like i sat you down i was like okay like answer these a hundred questions right like <laughs> yeah. what is your worst nightmare what's your biggest goal be yeah. like what is this an interrogation yeah. Yeah, exactly. right yeah. so we don't we don't do that we very much focus on how do we know you know like yeah. you as a person and then we store that you know and we yeah. also really care about safety confidentiality yeah. You know, as a physician, like HIPAA is pretty yeah. much law, right? Like yeah. confidentiality is really important. Yeah. So we encrypt everything and, uh, you know, we make sure that our product actually helps the user, yeah. whether it's to, you know, break out their shell, learn more about themselves, and then connect with people around the world. You know, you bring up such a great point and, and shared experiences, these connection opportunities are also happening and not being yes. documented. Um, when Brian Bauman and I merged our networks together, the Cube in Silicon Valley, which yeah. was a global community, and as with the NYSE Wired community, which is also global, but mostly New York based, mm -hmm. what happened was, was enough overlap in our network where um, there was linkage, yeah. but what actually happened was it created a traversal, just it was combined. Yes. And what happened was it created shared experiences because you don't need to be in Silicon Valley exactly. and, and New York to be an entrepreneur. You can say, hey, we're all entrepreneurs, but exactly. I don't care if I live in New York. New York's actually hopping right now. Silicon yeah. Valley's doing its thing. But now you have this entrepreneurial backbone between Silicon Valley and New York. So inherently that just locks in. And then as people go to the events, it's much more relationship. And so I exactly. think there's some good signs out there. I, I see people talking about things like transactional relationships versus, yeah. um, you know, uh, being having an emotional or a, a real relationship, yes. transactional relationship. Exactly. And then I, the word that's been kicked around a lot lately is the word intentional. Yes. Let's be intentional with our relationship or our partnership, whether it's technical deal or... So I think we're kind of seeing some awakening. I think so. Do you see that? A hundred percent. You know, I think like we're kind of got to a point where it's like, it, the loans epidemic, right? It was actually declared by the Surgeon General. It got like, it's getting worse and worse and worse, but I think we're at an inflection point where we're realizing that mm -hmm. and kind of hanging up that this can't keep happening, right? Mm -hmm. Like we have to collectively as a society, you know, do something to address it. Yeah. And for the first time, you know, like Gen Z, our youngest, you know, people are actually more lonely than the elderly. So what we want to do at Robin is kind of facilitate yeah. those connections you were talking about, whether it's based on interest, but eventually it's based on curated connections, right? curating yeah. data yeah. that is like, you know, I want to meet, you know, these kind of people. And then we physically <laughs> allow you to, you know, meet people like that. That's not just kind of like, you know, doom scrolling, but it's more associated yeah, yeah. with how do I form a meaningful connection yeah. with and, someone. And by the way, the mental health with children is impacted big time. It's huge. Yeah. It's absolutely huge. And I well, think the way we address mental health right now is kind of like slapping like a Band-Aid and addressing the symptoms, mm -hmm. which are, you know, really important. But if we think about like, why is there such a rise in anxiety, you know, depression, all of these things? It's almost like, it's not like we said one, two, three, we call it just have like less serotonin in our brains, right? Like it's not, it's not what happened. Like biochemically, like that is the case, but then like, why did that happen, right? Yeah. So if you think about the underlayer, a lot of that is because like, we don't have that connection anymore. Yeah. We don't have, you know, like what we used to have, like back in the really, really old days, right? Yeah. With tribes, like your people. And if you look at like blue zones, the number one thing is like social connection. Connection. Mm -hmm. So whereas, you know, right now we're just, you know, go, 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 right? So we're super lonely. We're very yeah. disconnected. Yeah. And there's no emotional connection with really anybody or even ourselves. So yeah. we want to really bring that back, you know, with yeah. our technology yeah. and then have people, you know, really kind of like address it at the underlayer. Well, certainly we want to be a customer. The Cube is 15 years Amazing. in the community. Everyone's connected through the interviews. We have news. Now we've got the NYSD Wired. Yeah partnership um, so definitely love what you're doing love that we're going to definitely follow up Amazing. I want to ask you for folks watching how do I 
How do they get involved with you? What are you guys doing for business right now? Where are you in the status of the venture? Are you up yeah. and running? You see a thousand people signed up. Is it an app? Is it a platform? What is yeah. the things that you're doing? Explain the business model. Yeah, so we're app. And uh, we're actually live on the App Store right now, and we haven't done any marketing yet because we got so much, you know, like organic traction. But we'll be opening it up uh, by the end of this year, so really, really soon. <laughs> and get that uh, auto scaling going. Exactly. You know? <laughs> so in the App Store, you can um, you what's know, the name of the app? Search Robin Personal Hype Squad, and then you can download it. And you know, we made it a subscription, a very, very uh, affordable subscription. Because something that I saw when I was position is that people were spending thousands of dollars per month to talk to someone. And I was like, that's insane. It's a second rent. Like you can't, you can't do that. So, you know, we made ours the cost yeah. of like two cups of coffee. Or if you're really bougie, I guess, like maybe one cup of coffee. <laughs> so depends where you go. Depends, Joe on the juice yeah. or blue bottle. Yeah. I, mean, I heard Irwan you know. has like a twenty dollar smoothie. So it's like three fourths of a smoothie. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you can yeah. find us on the App Store, and uh, you know, like anybody who would love to get involved, yeah. you know, you can email me at uh, Jenny at RobinHealth.io. So you're an app for consumers. We're an app for consumers. Not business. Uh, not 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 directly for business okay. right now. Got it. Okay. But you know, like mm, I think. I mean, the algorithm work you're doing could be interesting. Yeah. To be portable. There's a lot of. Uh, we have so many exciting things on our okay. roadmap that we're building. <laughs> you know, we're building our flagship product right now, which is kind of like your personal, like emoji intelligent AI companion. And then we're building Robin Connect as well, which is like how, you know, for example, we would get to connect with each other. But like the really, I think, like powerful technology we're building can, there's a lot of ways that we can use this for good. So even though right now, you know, we're more of a, like we're focusing on, you know, like making this amazing companion, like there's a lot of potential down the road. What are some of the, uh, what's been the feedback from people yeah. who are using it? Yeah, that's my favorite Was it favorite weird part. at first? Was it like cool? Like, wow, this was good? Yeah, G so they uh, they love it. And uh, I want to share some of like the app reviews with you. We actually had this uh, user uh, leave this really long detailed review and she was a physician um, who was recently uh, laid off. And uh, she said like, you know, wow, like Robin really helped me, um, you know, in this really hard time. And then she gave a really detailed description of how like, I'm going to, you know, quote, tell everybody about this, my friends, my family, my colleagues, and who will listen. And she ended it with like, this is the greatest that I've ever found. This will change people's lives forever, you mm -hmm. know? And then there are some funny ones, like, oh, I feel like I was talking to a superhuman. But I think what we see collectively is that they really like experience it. And it's like, this is my Robin, right? Yeah. Because like our key is that we are personalized and we do the yeah. as a person. So it's not just like, hi, how are you today? You know, yeah. it's something that feels like you're talking to a friend. You know, it's interesting. There's been studies over the years that your self-talk yeah. is defines your trajectory. And 100%. if you have positive self-talk yeah. then versus negative, and so having just interactions is almost like self-talk, but if it you're is. actually sharing it. Yeah, with it's basically like one step above journaling, right? Yeah. So you have like something that you can talk out, but someone that knows, you know, all of like your experiences, it has that context, also the context of, you know, the rest of the world. And it's able to, you know, be this kind of like superhero in your pocket. So can we name yeah. the company Robin after Robin and Batman? Because I'm a huge Batmaner. <laughs> and you know when I was Time for Robin to get some front front page news. Exactly. You know. Exactly. It'll be like Batman and Robin now. Yeah. Um but yeah, so you know we named it Robin because we want to be Robin to everyone's Batman, right? Because we yeah. believe that Everybody has to feel inside them. Yeah. It's just life gets hard sometimes. Yeah. And you need, yeah. you know, we all need a little bit of help. And that's what Robin is there for. Okay, so on the technology, you got the AI, no humans in the loop, or it's all AI? So on the, the back end, it's yeah. AI, but everything is, you know, like very much like, you know, trained with that assess that, you know, we have in house. And uh, we have a very robust like tech team that makes sure we put in, you know, safety guardrails and things So the like user that. knows that they're talking to their oh, yes. AI yes. private. Yes. It's almost like, like you said, journaling. So it's not like other people will, it's not like a stranger, but human on the other side. If I'm yes. talking to the, my agent yes. or so agent or my. It's, uh, it's like a dynamic, you know, like live uh, like AI agent that you, know, you can talk to at any time. Sounds like a big trade went down on the IPO. There's always stuff happening here. Uh, Ingram Micro went public. So you obviously some big action going on down there. Looks like some market making activity company went public this morning. Well, Jenny, great to have you on. You as well. Big bell here. Look at that. Making it happen. And thanks for sharing. And uh, we'll definitely keep in touch. I'm definitely going to sign up. For and I sure. uh, um, love your mission. Thank because you. I think this is where mental health goes. Thanks for coming on. Great to see you. Okay, I'm John Furrier. You. You're watching theCUBE here at the NYC. The bells are going off. 
you know, IPO went this morning, but these big trades are happening. A lot of action. Of course, this is our East Coast presence linking Silicon Valley with Wall Street. I'm John Furrier, your host. Thanks for watching.